It is Saturday, the 13th of August 2022, and today's reading is from UCB. Words, word of today, how to handle disappointment. God, the godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again. Proverbs 24, 16, NLT. For the next few days, let's look at five different types of disappointment. Disappointment in yourself. This is the most debilitating kind of disappointment, because it can put you into a downward spiral that's hard to recover from. Peter experienced it. He swore loyalty to Christ, saying, Everyone else may abandon you, but not me. I'm yours until death. See Matthew 26, 33. But he denied Christ three times. Later, he remembered Christ's words. Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. Peter, heartbroken by his failure, went outside and wept bitterly. Is that how you feel today? Are you thinking, Lord, how could you possibly use someone like me? Jesus wasn't shocked. He was well aware of Peter's flaws when he called him. But he also knew that his outspoken disciple, disciple had a tender heart. So he chose to extend grace to him rather than cast him aside. When Christ gave his post-resurrection orders to tell his disciples and Peter to meet him in Galilee, he reaffirmed his choice of his failed disciple. The rest of Peter's story is one of victory. So when you sin or fail and disappoint yourself, what should you do? Humble yourself and repent. Confess your sin. Don't excuse, rationalise or blame circumstances and people. Receive God's grace and forgiveness by faith, not feelings. Don't let Satan convince you you are not beyond. You are beyond God's reach and grace. You're not. Don't add insult to injury by letting disappointment mire you in hopelessness and despair. Get whatever help you need to get back on track sooner, not later.